guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm vlogging. My sister came up with her husband and we're gonna go do some stuff later. So I'm gonna vlog it. We are gonna go check out this birria taco place. I've been dying to go to this taco place. It's a food truck and they only do birria tacos. They have the best looking tacos ever. It's called, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even gonna butcher it. But every time I go, there's just a long line um, of people and they sell out so fast so we're gonna try to get in line really early today and go there for lunch and then we're probably gonna go out later to some bars which will be fun but yeah we're gonna have ourselves a little day um my sister wants to go to some crystal shops which is cool because i also wanted to go to the crystal shop and get some jewelry so we're gonna do that in a little bit we're gonna go stop at my mom's as well so she can see them also a little lip update they're way smaller than they were i was getting a little worried i was like i don't know if i <laughs> made a really bad decision and they were like too big but i knew they were just swollen they're still swollen um they still have some time to go down but i love the size of them i think they look really good and yeah so i'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go get coffee and go see my mom. You guys will see. All right, so I just got two things. I got this really cute sports bra from Puma. It's just a zebra print and the crisscross in the back. Super cute. It was $12. And then I just got some shorts. Yeah. Because I feel like these would be good for the beach and swimsuit cover up or whatever just easy to throw on so i got this calvin klein like cropped tank oh sorry Spencer was super, shaking the car super cute and then i also got this um i don't know the brand but um like peach colored like salmon colored tank top as well and it has this really cute little thing on the back and then of course i couldn't forget my puppy so i got him a little bunny all right, that's all that we got. And we're gonna go to this taco truck now, which there's probably gonna be a really long line because they're like famous for their birria tacos. Um, they open at one, it's now 12.30, but we're gonna stay in line until they're open because there's probably already a line there. Yeah. The truck isn't even here yet. And there's already a line. And they don't open for another 30 minutes. It was like healing and good health. Good health, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we went to a crystal shop and we got some things. <laughs> Stop watching me. <laughs> I got this ring, which is opalite, and I think it means like good health. That's right. Like good health and good blood flow, apparently. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I got this citrine bracelet which is good for like manifestation good wealth prosperity stuff like that my sister got some stuff too um i also got the um same bracelet and the same opaloid opaloid ring that sounds right yeah okay opaloid. and then this one what was this one called again the <laughs> we were like we're so tired so like we were like Kind of paying attention, but not really. Guys, we waited three hours in the line for those tacos. <laughs> so, yeah. We waited our like, entire day. We're exhausted. And for some reason, like, this bitch thought <laughs> it was a good idea to come up at 8 a.m. I just wanted to get here. I didn't want to waste my she whole day. She said, I don't want to waste my whole day, so, but nothing's I, open until, like, 11. 
She didn't tell well. me that though. And honestly, we wasted the whole day standing in a freaking line for tacos that we could have got at a restaurant. That was anyways. Yeah. Anyways. Um, this one I think it's called Hem- Hematoid. Hematoid. <laughs> I think we're just making up names, honestly. But it's he said this one. <laughs> Absorb bad energy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then um, what else did you say it was for? Um, I think anxiety. And stuff. I think that might. I think it was just supposed to help with like. Just like, no, making it, sure you don't have like absorb negative energy. Yeah, and it, I think it was for anxiety and stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Because that's what addressed this, you to it. Yes, exactly. I think. But anyway, way, we don't fucking know. Yeah. And we didn't. And we didn't really, we didn't ask too many questions. We didn't have that much time. Yeah. We were about to close. Yeah, and he was really nice. Like, we called ahead of time to let him know that we were coming. He like set out the rings for us and like took the time to like explain for the most part. But we were listening. <laughs> I don't really know. But we went to another place, another crystal shop before that yeah, one, and, and she I just got, gave the worst vibes. Yeah. So like, I did. I would have felt like so weird just like leaving because we were in there for like what fifteen minutes, just kind of like in the stores. Like it looked this like big. it literally looked like we were like loitering to like steal. Like it looked yeah. like we were just we were walking just, like, around hanging to, like, out. So I like just bought some incense because I actually lost mine. So I wanted to buy some more. So I was like, I'll just buy something from what here. What kind did you get? Like did you even smell it? I did. did. You just pick one. No, I did. Okay. Um, honestly, I got I got the purple ones. <laughs> just, just to match. Just to match. <laughs> what if it smells like shit? They smell really. Oh, good. Oh, that actually smells really yeah, good. Yeah. So they the smell really good. Like. So <clears throat> I got the purple ones. Ew. <laughs> so I got the purple ones. Um. Mainly because I liked purple's my favorite color and um, they smelled good. So, and that's all we got. Yeah. Oh, I also got some sage. Oh, yeah, I didn't we're gonna have sage any. the crystals yeah. and everything. But I'm finally excited because these rings, she had seen my other glass rings from mm-hmm. the one place. Those aren't crystals, those are glass, but she liked those. And I also was looking for rings like the same ring, but as a crystal because I wanna be able to wear my crystals. Because I feel like it helps manifest better if you're if they're mm-hmm. on you at all times. Especially like the citrine one. This was like super important to get to me. What? <laughs> <laughs> super important for me to get. So I'm glad I found it. I was looking for like a necklace and a ring and <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was like looking for a necklace too. Um, but I didn't really find one I really liked, like connected with. The other, I feel like the first shop definitely had more necklaces. Than the yeah. second shop did. The second yeah. shop had a lot more like standalone crystals and more like necklaces like this, where I was looking for more of something with like the crystal hanging. Like jewelry, yeah. Yeah. But overall, I think it was a good trip. But yeah, I've been looking for like crystal rings, rings for a while, so. Yeah. So we're gonna go out now. Well, we've been trying we're to go out. to get ready. Um, yeah, we're getting ready now. I asked you guys to ask us questions, but honestly, like, it was kind of late notice, so I don't even know how many of you are even going to comment and ask any questions. But if you do, we'll answer them. We're going to get ready right now to go out. We're drinking a little bit. We made some drinks. <laughs> and yeah. We're exhausted. We're going to go to this place and play mini golf and maybe do something after. Shh. And maybe do something after, but it just depends on how we're feeling. I feel like now yeah, like we're, we're more, getting energized. more energized. It's definitely probably the energy day. drink and the liquor. Yeah. So we're gonna get ready right now, and then we'll show you guys our outfits and everything. Yeah. And our whole night. All right. So we finished getting ready. We're gonna go out now. We're gonna finish our drinks and everything. I just did some light makeup and these two braids in the front, just because I didn't feel like doing anything else with my hair. And then I just put together a simple outfit. Honestly, it's like really hard to like figure out an outfit going out right now because it's like, do I want to be casual? I don't want to be too fancy. I still want to be fancy because I never get to dress up. So I was running through a bunch of different outfits, but I settled with these pair of leather shorts from Tiger Mist that I have in my one haul. And then I have this black ribbed bodysuit that I think it's from, this is from Urban Outfitters from a while ago, but I'm sure you could find like any type of black bodysuit. And then I'm just gonna wear my platform bands with it. And then for jewelry, I have this, actually I'll just show you. For jewelry, I have this Chanel bracelet from a little 
from a local shop in Jersey. My friend got me this for Christmas. I'll have to figure out the name of it. I don't know if they have an online store or not. And then I got, then I have this ring on from the ritual shop. I have this ring on from the one that I just bought. This ring is from M Jewelers and then my citrine bracelets. And then my sister's gonna show you her outfits. All right, so my bralette is from Victoria's Secret. Um, my top is from Sheen. My jean skirt is also from Sheen. And I'm just wearing my floral bands. And then for my jewelry, I'm wearing um, my Wedding ring? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm wearing the bracelet that I got. Oh, wait. I'm hitting, wait. I think I should put it. You didn't. Okay. I'm wearing the bracelet I got earlier, my Apple Watch. I'm wearing these like little rings on my fingers are like a set from like Claire's. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> a set from Claire's. These all have never used a camera before. And then, um, I'm wearing my ring from earlier. And then I'm wearing this necklace. I'm wearing this necklace. <laughs> I don't know how to show it. I'm wearing this necklace necklace as well. It's just like a moon necklace, but um, I didn't really want to wear this ring on my finger. So I decided to just attach it to my necklace because it looks really cute. And then I'm wearing my wedding ring as well, but I'm actually married, so yeah. <laughs> And then for my hair, I did, also didn't really do anything with it. I did put side braids in. I was a little bit of a copycat with that. So yeah. What are you doing? Did you find a hiding spot? Did you find a new hiding spot? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, gunshots. All right, we're gonna do one last shot before we go. This is what we're drinking. She brought this from a local distillery in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's like somewhere in here. I don't even know where the fuck it is. Um, I don't either. Whoa. Right. She Oh wait, wait, we're doing this thing that we saw on TikTok where you breathe out. Yeah. I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dude, it works. It did work, yeah. Because usually I gag on it. All right, that's all. We're gonna go now. And my truck keeps coming out. I got a... Um kind of like a cucumber gimlet but it wasn't called that but it's basically just gin cucumber mint and lime and look at how cute this freaking cup is this is so freaking cute this is also the tiniest $12 cocktail that I've ever seen in my entire life but I guess there's no ice on it hi welcome to Philly <laughs> literally all right we're on round two now I got the cherry fluff wait it's zooming up so just be patient Slowly right. but surely. I got the cherry fluff, mm -hmm. and my sister got the number the, six. The now that the sour. Six, I don't even know brunch. what you could even fucking see it. I don't yeah. know. So we're gonna split it because she um, bought it before she got to try mine, and then when she tried mine, we decided we liked it better because it's it's basically like this the one, same, but it's just sweeter. Less, yeah, it's less sour, sour. and more cherry. So we're just gonna berry. split both because we both like each other's, but obviously this one's better. But I'm a nice this star. the questions that you guys had asked us. 
since we didn't last night. We didn't really do that much, honestly. We went to the one place and then we never went anywhere else because one, we were all, well, actually her husband was completely sober. Yeah, we were pretty up. And we were drunk. Pretty schmacked. I think you were crazy <laughs> today. You can talk to me yourself. Anyway, but yeah, so we're gonna ask, the, oh, anyway, so we would just walked home. Yeah. Because there was no point in going anywhere else. But we're gonna ask the question. So the first question someone asked was, what's your, or no, wait, what's your favorite memory growing up? Um, for me, I think we have like maybe the same one, but um, we, we used to live with our grandma and um, we weren't allowed to have any pets. So we got like a stray cat that we were feeding like random stuff. And Cheerios and shit. So we asked grandma if we could bring it into the house and she told us no. So we put, we put her in the cooler while grandma wasn't looking and then we snuck her in our room upstairs in the attic. And my grandma like still talks about it to this day. Literally, it was at her house last week, and she, she brought it up at dinner. And she was really? like, "Yeah." And how I found out was that I went to go get you girls ready for school, and the cat met me at the stairs. It was meowing. And I think we would just like, like feed it Cheerios and like random stuff that we had because we didn't have cat food. And yeah, I think it lasted like what two days. Oh yeah, <laughs> our, our grandpa was so pissed. He was. Oh my gosh, Insanely yeah. pissed at, <laughs> off at us. And it's funny now, though, because now my grandma lets in her neighbor's cat yes. as yeah. her own. Yep. So <laughs> she basically is already doing that again. I feel like my favorite memory is probably just, I don't know, us, like, running around the house after school. Like, we would do this thing with our stepbrother where we'd lock ourselves out of the house. And then we'd have to like climb up the shed and like break in through the window. Yeah. And we'd just keep doing it to each other. It'd be like the first one home had ran in and locked all the doors. And then we'd have to like climb up the shed and get in. It was like a whole routine. <laughs> and then someone said, have you traveled outside the US and what are your goals? Um, you can go first. <clears throat> yes. Um, been to Jamaica and Dominican Republic and Mexico only because I was born in Texas. So, we were really close to the border and I was born like before you needed a passport to get into Mexico. So, but I was like really little, so I don't really remember that. But those yeah. are the only two places out of the US that I've been. And then what are your goals? Um, I guess my goals are just to be, um, I don't know, that's a hard one. <clears throat> my five year plan would be to like have kids, get my podcast going, finish my degree, and find a job, a teaching job. Okay, mine are, oh, I've traveled outside the US. They're literally the same exact ones as her. So Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and Mexico. And then we're actually going to Dominican in like yeah. three weeks. So not three weeks, like a month, but and then my goals or five year plan is to be successful on YouTube and maybe Instagram. Um, but I don't really like try on Instagram right now. And then have a really successful clothing brand, live in a big house, <laughs> live outside of Philly, and maybe be married. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. me. All right, so <clears throat> the next question, well, actually, he asked like five questions, but um, what's the name of our favorite movie? We'll start with that. Yeah. What's our favorite, what's our <clears throat> name of our favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie, I like have two, like, that I could bounce back and forth to, but my all-time favorite movie is Bridesmaids. I know every single word to that movie. And I used to watch it like on repeat. I'm pretty sure I actually took it from Blockbuster. I never returned it. Like when Blockbuster was yeah. a thing. <laughs> and my favorite movie is probably White Chicks or The Bridesmaids. Yeah. Because those are the two funniest movies ever. But yeah, White Chicks is hilarious. Um, the next question is, what's your ideal home? And what's your, oh, what's your ideal home you would like to own? Um, 
Mine is like, honestly, like a farmhouse, like on a lot of land uh, with a huge wraparound porch. I'm obsessed with wraparound porches. Um, but like my own little pond, honestly, just like my own oasis. Mine's completely different. <laughs> so mine's like very modern, but not too modern. Modern, Like I don't want it to look like art when I'm walking inside. Okay, Coco. Um, I want it modern, but I want it like dark and homey. I really like dark accents to houses and stuff like that. I don't know how to describe it, honestly, because every time I, I look on Zillow all the time at houses that I want, and they're all pretty much the same. Like they're very dark features, like rustic looking, but I don't want like the classic white house, yeah. marble. <clears throat> Basically, whatever. Like, you want it to look right different. Now. I want it yeah. to be like stand out. Dark and dreamy. I hear that. That's the best way to describe it. The next question is What's your favorite place you'd love to visit? Um, my favorite place that I'd love to visit is Australia. I guess that could be one of my goals, too. Like, I've always wanted to go there. Yeah. So, like, that's one of my goals. Well, traveling could be our goals. Because I want to oh, travel. Oh, yeah, travel. So yeah, I want to go so many different places. But Australia is like my top place that I want to visit. I'm just, I hate flying, side so note. <sighs> and it's like the, so long to get there, so yeah, but yeah. I have two places. Well, I should like, I want to go everywhere. The two, yeah. My two top places that I want to go to are Greece and probably Dubai. Ooh, yeah. I want to see Dubai, like so Same. bad. But Greece is number one. Yeah. I always wanted to go there. I remember, remember that video you were watching? Of the one YouTuber and she got so much shit for it because she was like saying that there wasn't enough to do. Oh yeah. Because she couldn't like get content for her vlog. Like that's depends. If what, you're going to Greece, like it, you're going to like I want to go to like. It depends what island you go culture. to. It depends what island you go to. And I actually have a friend that lives um like she saw his family in Greece, and um she's like offered before to like go with me and be able to like show us like where to go like non-touristy things touristy things which i think would be like so cool because you're getting like more of an authentic experience that's the food oh yeah like, i'm obsessed with her food. mom used to make us food and uh it's so good mm -hmm. there's this place in my <clears throat> boyfriend's hometown that has the best greek food ever it's like a little mom and pop shop it's a little it's like the mom and then the two daughters work there and it's so freaking cute they don't like hire like anybody else like like these girls will literally be running around like chickens with their head cut off <laughs> before they hire anyone. Else. They have such good work ethic. Yeah, I know. Well, they're probably gonna take over the business and stuff like that. But yeah. they just changed the name. Anyway, so the last question is, what's your dreams that you want to achieve? Which I feel like we already answered that. Yeah, with our goals. My number one is probably my clothing brand. And then my YouTube is second. <laughs> yeah, like my podcast is probably number one. I'm just trying to get that up and running and then Traveling, honestly, that'd be yeah. Traveling. That's like a super big goal for mine. And buying a house. Yeah, I want to buy a house. Yeah, I want to buy a house because too. I don't like. Well, not that I don't like living in the city. It's just like I grew up in the suburbs. Like I grew up with, like a. I feel like a home is so much cozier than a little apartment in the city. I feel like so alone. Like I like being alone, but like I feel alone in a big city. Yeah. But if I was in my house, like all alone, I wouldn't give a fuck. You have like more space to like And I like around. driving around. I like like where all the stores are located mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I like driving and not having to see t 20 million people. Mm -hmm. I mean, Philly drivers are literally the worst drivers yeah, that you've ever experienced in your entire life. But I always drive in the suburbs and stuff like that, so and I also grew up in the suburbs. And every time I go to my boyfriend's mom's it's just so much cozier and homier. But that's all the questions that we were asked. She's leaving. So yeah. say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for letting me vlog with you. <laughs>